Hello, and welcome to Sky Career Talks, here where we get to discuss why communicating and connecting with Rutgers alumni is so important. Today, we'll be learning about Rutgers alumni, Jamie Harvey, who graduated from Union Institute and University with a degree in psychology. He found his passion in life and went back to school for his master's in library and information science at Rutgers University and graduated in 2019. Jamie is an avid supporter of the program, loving the diverse backgrounds, age ranges, and professions of his fellow peers in the program. He currently works as the research librarian at Landmark College. Here we get to learn a little bit more about Jamie's career journey and where he is today. Hi, my name is Lane Klimak, and today I'm joined by Jamie Harvey to discuss where Rutgers alumni start their career after Rutgers. How are you today, Jamie? I'm doing fantastic. How about you, Lane? I'm good. Thank you. So to start, can you just give a brief overview of your career journey? Yeah, I took a little bit of a circuitous route. Um, so um, I did not begin grad school until after 40. And the reason why I uh, began grad school and I started the program at Rutgers is that I was laid off from a job. Um, I thought that would be an opportunity for a career change. Um, I had held many administrative jobs um, prior to that time um, in accounting and bookkeeping, database management, um, even medical billing. Um, but I always um, had a love of libraries and books. I have a very special feeling for libraries and, and books and ideas. Uh, and it just occurred to me, you know what, this is this has been a dream of mine, actually. I just didn't know it yet. <laughs> Uh, so um, I researched some schools. Rutgers in particular has a fantastic program um, for library and information science. The whole Master of Information program is phenomenal. I recommend all the professors. Um, so then I began that. I think I believe it was in 2017 is when I started and then I got my degree in 2019. That's awesome. You know, a lot of people recommend the programming and everything like that. So while you were in this program and, you know, starting your career, what type of technical or interpersonal skills do you think students need to start their career? Um, so in the program itself? The program itself or just, you know, in the library okay. industry, you know, even just sure. general career advice as well. Um, yeah, I, I should clarify what my what I'm doing now, I'm, I, I guess I didn't get into that part. <laughs> That's okay, um, go ahead. So um, after graduation, um, I actually got a, a job. Um, it was just a part-time job at a place where I was interning. So uh, the internship program at Rutgers was, was very helpful in that way, um, in an academic library. So I'm, I'm an academic librarian. Um, specifically, I'm a research services librarian. Uh, this role is maybe a little bit different than say, if you were doing cataloging or if you're a technical services librarian. Um, this is very much an outward facing role, um, which I love. Um, so um, I do a lot of group instruction, individual research uh, consultations. Um, I offer a lot of library support uh, to faculty and students. Um, this, all this is to say that one of the skills um, that you will want if you go into this type of career is you'll want to you know how to communicate with people. Uh, communication skills. Um, I think sometimes there's a thought that librarians maybe are, you know, sort of cloistered, maybe, you know, not as much presence, but we, we actually have a very big presence on this campus. <laughs> um, so um, communication is a very a big thing. Um, I would say as far as technical skills, I mean, the, I felt like the program at Rutgers uh, prepared me pretty well. Um, I took, um, you know, there very specific technical skills that you'll need, like in terms of um, you know, information management, um, research management, technology skills. Um, there are also things that are a little bit more informal, like um, troubleshooting. That's one thing that you know I find that I'm doing all the time with students, um, particularly actually with technology, believe it or not. Um, and so some sort of comfort level with troubleshooting. And even modeling the troubleshooting process itself for students, I think, is very helpful for them. Um, so, yeah, it's a combination of technical, personal skills. Um, I do want to emphasize, though, that as a librarian, you will be working a lot. You know, you will be outward facing quite often, even if you're a technical services librarian. Um, so I, 
I've heard before a lot of students go into it thinking that they will not be doing that. You will be. <laughs> <laughs> That's great advice to give. Thank you for that. Um, so when you got into, you know, the role of being a librarian or just, you know, the library community and industry kind of, would you say that, you know, networking is important for not only the industry, but also, you know, maybe just for some student that is just starting their career out? It is so important. And that's how I got my current job, honestly. Um, anecdotally, I hear as a librarian, it's um, one of the hardest parts is actually get, getting your foot in the door, uh, getting mm -hmm. into the field. Um, I had um, just kind of informally been like networking, reaching out to folks, um, and became LinkedIn friends actually with my current boss. Um, so what the director of this library did was kind of combed through her uh, LinkedIn connections and had noted, um, which by the way, uh, I put together my LinkedIn profile at Rutgers. That was kind of part of the program. <laughs> <laughs> um, at any rate, um, she contacted me directly through LinkedIn. And it was like, hey, we've got this position open. Are you interested? I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and then incredibly, you know, there were there were like 50 applicants. Somehow I I prevailed, I, I got the job. Um, so yeah, it, as far as networking, um, yeah, in addition to like LinkedIn, a, another thing that I did was I, I reached out to, I, I looked up who in the area was a librarian, you know, what institutions, what public libraries, I, I called to these different places and saw if I could schedule a time to meet with folks. Mm -hmm. um, to shadow folks, to interview folks. And that, yeah, it was just, um, again, that helped with the networking because I, I, I ended up actually having job interviews at some of those places as well. Um, network is, networking is so valuable. Any job, this job, definitely. That's great. Yeah, I think today's world is definitely becoming a focus on networking, LinkedIn, and just, you know, building meaningful connections. So just in general, would you say you have any, you know, tips or recommendations you would advise the students who are either starting their career in the library industry or even just, you know, to a student who is just starting out either coming out of college, coming out of a master's program, or, you know, even in a situation like you where you did your master's later on, you know, what advice would you give what you wish you know beforehand? Sure. Yeah. Um, well, just to hammer the point home, network identify and reach out to people who hold that role that you aspire to, right? Um, ask to meet with them, interview them, shadow them. Um, I also maybe find opportunities to volunteer uh, for a position related to your field. Um, serve on a board, for example. I, I started out serving on a, a board of a public library. Mm -hmm. um, don't wait for opportunities. Make your own opportunities, I would say. Um, and get a foot in the door. Um, so you might not get the perfect job right off the bat. And in fact, I started in a paraprofessional position and I was disappointed at first, <laughs> but it very quickly evolved into a professional position. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, just get take that job just to get your foot in the door. Um, also, importantly, keep up to date with your knowledge and skills. Um, I know in this field in particular, the information field, that is so important. Things are constantly evolving. You need to be agile, nimble, uh, up to date, um, be a lifelong learner. Um, also, I would say don't be discouraged. Um, and just sort of anecdotally and among people that I know, um, it can be hard to find a job in this field, you know, librarianship. There are just so many jobs to go around. Um, and I noticed in particular, um, the entry level positions are hard to come by. Once you've been in this position for a couple of years, then there are a lot more opportunities. Um, so don't be discouraged, get your foot in the door, get that first job. And then, you know, over time you'll build some experience and you'll you know qualify for these other opportunities. Mm -hmm. That's great. So lastly, I like to end these kind of on like a little fun note. Is there a way that you could describe your job in three words? <laughs> uh, let's see, um, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Best job ever. Yeah. <laughs> um, making a difference. <laughs> That's good. That's good. 
Thank you so much, Jamie. I appreciate you taking the time. This advice will definitely be helpful for students starting their career.